Hey, what's up, everybody? In this video, what I want to discuss is the Negro League Baseball Commemorative Coins and Medal from the United States Mint. We are on the United States Mint 2022 product schedule, and it is finally 2022. I am recording this video on January the 1st, 2022. We are finally here. We finally made it. Hopefully 2022 is bigger and better than 2021. Who knows? But regardless, happy new year. But these coins and metal go on sale January the 6th, 2022. And that is just a few days away. That is this upcoming Thursday. What are these going to do? How many people are excited about buying these coins and metal? I know there's a lot of people who said that they are interested in buying this one here with the privy mark. But I want to give you my opinion. I think this in general as a whole was a very big miss on the part of not just the United States Mint because their hands are kind of tied as to what they can do with these, I believe. A lot of this comes from Congress and the bill that was passed, I think kind of the legislation says what they have to put on these coins and metal. But I think they could have reached out to a larger fan base, a larger collector base, and I think that they could have done more with these than what they have done. So if we just look at, let's look at the Privy Mark. Because this is the one that a lot of people are speculating, speculating, don't know. I have no idea. This is, by the way, not financial advice. I have no idea what these are going to do. I have my speculation. I have my guess. I have my instincts about what these are going to do. And I think these are going to be one big huge miss and even this one i don't think this one is going to do as well as a lot of people think that this one is going to do and i'm going to give you my reason why now this i think this is a huge in history this is a part of our history a part of our history that a lot of people need to know about maybe a lot of people and this is one reason why i think this is going to be a big miss is how many people know what the negro league was a lot of people know major league baseball but so the negro league baseball commemorative coins being minted in honor of the 100th anniversary of establishing the Negro League, a professional baseball league formed in response to African-American players being banned from Major League Baseball. All right, so that's why this league was formed, because African-American players were banned from playing in the Major Leagues. Now, there's a lot of Major League Baseball fans out there in this world, in this country, but how many people in the precious metal collecting community, how many people who collect precious metals is a fan of just the Negro League? How many people know what the Negro League is but how many people know who Jackie Robinson is? And there's a lot of people who know what the 42 is. Number 42 in Major League Baseball is retired throughout the entire league. Nobody can wear the number 42 except for one day, which is Jackie Robinson Day. Everybody wears the number 42. I think how these could have reached a bigger audience is what if every player wore the number 42? What if everybody on the coins wore the number 42? What if these coins had a privy mark of the number 42? Now, I get it. This is not commemorating just Jackie Robinson. This is commemorating the entire Negro League. However, if you want to reach a bigger collector base, a bigger audience, a lot more people who are interested in buying something like this, I think a lot of these, I think most of these, if not all of these, should have had something to do with the number 42, and I think that may have been a bigger hit. This one with the privy mark, we can debate all day if 20,000 is a low mintage. I think 20,000 for a lot of things could be a low 
product limit. This is not a mintage. This is a product limit. However, they're probably not going to make any more than 20,000. So we can pretty much say that this product limit probably is going to be the mintage limit and it has a household order limit of one now are these going to sell out is the key question a lot of people a lot of people are speculating that with 20,000 that these are going to sell out I'm not too sure these are going to sell out I'm in fact I am going to go out on a limb and say that I don't think these will sell out on day one I don't think so Will they sell out on day two? I don't know, possibly. I don't know what these are going to do, but I am going to speculate on this like everybody else. A lot of people are speculating that these are going to sell out at $85 and that there's going to be 20,000 people who are going to be on here crashing the United States Mint website. I don't think that's going to happen. My guess is going to be this will not be a day one sellout again, and I am still up in the air if i'm gonna buy this one i still may actually purchase this one i'm not 100 percent sure but i think the united states mint and congress could have done a lot more your goal i think is to sell these i think the goal is to make money the goal is to actually sell these and to not only make money for the united states mint and the treasury department but also to make money for the negro league baseball museum for educational and outreach programs and exhibits okay i think you would have sold a lot more of these now will this one sell out maybe it will maybe it won't but one thing that i do know for almost certain is that none of these other ones are going to sell out this one may this one may sell out but I could almost speak with 100% certainty that none of the other ones are going to sell out. And I don't think they're going to sell very many of these other ones. Now, this one here is about Jackie Robinson. But again, they did not put the number 42. I think it would have been huge if they would have put the number 42. If they would have put a baseball player on this other one that is alongside this medal. If they would have had this baseball player wearing the number 42 i think that would have been really big this product limit 15,000 united states mint medals in general i do not like i will not be buying this one 100 percent certainty i will not be buying this one i think if this medal would have again if he would have been in a baseball uniform and had the number 42 and that would have been big now I understand why none of these players are wearing a number 42. Jackie Robinson was not number 42 in the Negro League. He was not number 42 until he got into Major League Baseball. And this is not about Major League Baseball. This is about the Negro Baseball League. But I still think you have to please, if you want to sell a large amount of these, you have to sell based on what people already know what people like to collect and there's probably a lot more collectors out there for things with the number 42 than there is with things that say negro league baseball let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i appreciate everybody for watching like comment subscribe and i will talk to everybody on my next video thanks a lot everyone